Snowdonia Donkeys is an organization that promotes health and well-being through working and walking with donkeys. Funding from children in need has enabled Zoe to come here for the last two years. This is Walter. He is my favorite donkey. Um, we actually have the same birthday, exactly the same birthday. Um, yeah, we're exactly 16 years old. <laughs> you can never be sad around Walter. I was bullied. It, it was kind of a regular thing. Uh, you know, everyone else had their friends to talk to. I was very alone, so I found it quite hard. And I kept on coming home crying every night to mum. I was dreading going to school. I felt anxious. I used to have sleepless nights because of it. I used to have extremely bad night terrors and nightmares. Um, I was just dreading and scared and stuff like that. So I left um, at year seven. I decided to be homeschooled. But yeah, I just felt really alone and it kind of made me a very closed person. But honestly, yeah, it kind of ruined that part of my childhood. I got a lot, I lost a lot of my childhood due to bullying. Yeah. But since those days, children in need and a lot of donkeys have come to the rescue. When we first met Zoe just over two years ago now, she found it really difficult to communicate with people. She was really very reluctant to join us. She would hardly look us in the eye and talk to us. And so we set up one-to-one -one sessions with her where she could just come in a quiet time and spend time with donkeys. What I like about coming to Snowdonia Donkeys is the people, for one, they're just so friendly. Secondly, obviously, the donkeys. We've seen an amazing change in Zoe since she started coming to us. From a shy, um, uncertain person to a much more confident person who we're really excited with her that she's going to be going to college in September as well. To be quite independent around the donkeys because of the structures we've put in place enabled her to have more confidence in herself and her own abilities. And that gave her confidence to do other things as well. I and mean, I probably wouldn't have been able to do it without Ruth and everyone here, <laughs> and especially Walter. I'm so much more happy and I, I don't dread getting up in the morning because I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go to donkeys. If I was talking to my younger self, saying that I was helping out at a donkey sanctuary, I wouldn't believe myself. <laughs> Walter's a really special donkey, and I think you can see that he does love her as well. He's definitely one of my best friends. <laughs> I love it, I love it. This is really like my second home, I love it here. <laughs> I just love them to pieces. Yeah.